the brand new seasoning that's coming out September 1st and we're going to be experimenting with it today. All right. On the back, I'm going to read the instructions on it. It says heat one tablespoon of oil in a large pan over medium heat for about two minutes. And then we're going to add one uh, chopped onion and cook for about three to five minutes. However, I do my own spin on this. We're adding one a pound of ground turkey in here. We'll break it up and cook it all together. Okay. We don't need to drain it because the turkey I'm using today is like 93% lean and 7% fat okay so this is it definitely Weight Watcher friendly uh, then we're gonna add in this chili mix packet here so a can of uh, instead of a dice undrained diced tomatoes I don't like chunky tomatoes so I'm gonna do and crush tomatoes right in there okay and then um, also some kidney beans we're gonna be doing dark red kidney beans and yes this is chili with beans if you don't like it go somewhere else go cook your own without the beans so anyway um, this is for me I'm cooking for my mom and I and uh, sorry for you non chili bean eaters all right and then we're gonna add in one and a half cups of water we're gonna let it simmer for 18 to 20 minutes all right so before we do the chili we got to do cornbread because cornbread goes with chili we are doing yes box don't box jiffy don't 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 be judging me y'all this is my mom's um favorite so we were cooking for mom today all right because i left her alone all day yesterday while i went up and visited bryce all right so this one uh packet of jiffy mix actually calls for one egg and a third of a cup of milk all right and i may throw in a little bit of sugar because she likes hers a little bit sweeter all right so we're gonna um put in our batter bowl one egg just break it up uh, there we go there and some milk and while this is um while we're mixing this up we're going to start heating up our pan because it takes a while to heat up our pan uh we are going to be cooking in the new enamel cast iron skillet by pamper chef now this skillet has a nice little lid on it and the lid itself has these little rivets in it so the the um, juice can fall right back down it's not going to evaporate on you all right it is cast iron it has enamel on the outside it cast iron right here so it is dishwasher safe however you have to take it right out of the dishwasher and wipe it off otherwise this cast iron will rust on you all right we got that and then inside we have the beautiful enamel cast iron all right so we're going to turn on our stove over here and start heating that baby up. I'm going to be putting in some avocado oil. I got an avocado oil here. And one big spray is about one teaspoon. I'm not going to put in a whole tablespoon. I don't think so. Let me see how much oil I can put in here. Maybe two teaspoons. That is like uh, just a little bit less of one tablespoon. I don't think we need all that oil in it. All right. Let's see. That's one teaspoon. All right, here we go. You can see me here. I'm going to take you over here. We are spraying the pan with the oil. One big spray is, I think one teaspoon is going to be just fine. All right, there we go. Let's just get that nicely heated up. And while that's heating up, let's release the, the air out of our kitchen spritzer. And I need to add more oil in here, y'all. It's getting low, low as we go. All right. So now that we have our milk and our eggs uh, into our batter bowl, we're making the uh, cornbread. And all we have to do is mix up some corn cornmeal jiff in here. All right, just mix it all together. This is quickly lickety split. I'm going to put that on medium heat to, so it gets nice and hot on us. All right. There we go. All right. Mix it all together. I'm going to add in a little bit of sugar, maybe about one teaspoon, maybe a teaspoon and a half. Let's do a teaspoon. Let's do a teaspoon of sugar in here and just keep on mixing it. All right. And I have some corn over here that we're going to add in also. All right. I like corn of mine. It'll give me another veggie too inside of it. So tell me where you're coming in from. My name is Alexis. I live here in Southeast Coast of Georgia. And I love li coming live here on Haps and sharing to other platforms and teaching you how to use your uh, Pamper Chef tools along with recipes so you can make what I'm making at my house at your house. I am on a weight loss journey and I've lost 50 pounds over the last two years and we're trying to keep it off. All right. There we go. Uh, I'm almost, almost down to my uh, personal weight goal. Uh, we're almost there. Not quite yet. Okay. Mix that all together. Yeah. All right, mix it. Let it sit for a second. We're gonna get some sugar out. All right, and let's just do one teaspoon. One teaspoon sounds really good, y'all. Okay. Mom likes hers. Mom likes more the cornbread more for a dessert than a side for um, chili. All right. Put that in. We're going to add in some corn. I'm going to leave some back for my garnish on my chili. All right. 
There we go. And I'm actually going to be cooking this in the air fryer today. The air fryer is available for everyone. If you don't already have an air fryer, I highly suggest using it uh, or buying one. Uh, be a Pampered Chef uh, wannabe. <laughs> a lot of people have bought, you know, all bought some different type of Pampered Chef other than Pampered Chef, which is great and fine. However, you support a Pampered Chef consultant when you buy a Pampered Chef air fryer. All right. So I have this springform pan. It's a springform pan by Pampered Chef. This is being discontinued. So if you want it, get it now all right i love it it makes great cheesecake we're going to be doing cheesecake later this week and uh, i'm going to put in my um my mix right in into the spring form pan i did butter it and i did put a liner of parchment underneath it because it makes it easier to remove all right there you go we are on a roll today i'm not even looking at comments y'all so let's just get this in whoops get it all in scrape it off good to the last drop all right, let's spread it just a little bit. And again, I'm gonna put this in my air fryer. It calls for 400 degrees in the oven for um, right here, 400 degrees uh, in greased muffin can pans, but we're putting it in the spring form pan here and um, calls for 15 to 20 minutes. All right, so we're gonna put it in our air fryer. Let me flip us over and put this back over here. There's the air fryer. It is on sale this month for $209. If you're a host, you can get it for 105 bucks. All right. So we're just going to put this right in and I did not plug it in, did I? No. There it is. Plug in. We're going to do custom. We're going to go down. We're going to do uh, probably, let me see, it says 15 to 18 minutes, right? Huh? 15 to 18 minutes, uh, 15 to 20 minutes. Let's do 18 minutes. Oops. Cancel. Custom. 18 and I'm going to go up to uh, 375 degrees. All right. So the, the rule of thumb is when you use an air fryer, go down by 25 degrees. All right. And you may have to increase your temperature a little bit. I went right in between the two of them. Actually, did place it 15 to 20. I did 18 and uh, it should be done. All right. So just decrease whatever your um, temperature is for your whatever you're cooking in the oven. Reduce it by 25 degrees. 25 degrees and you should be fine in the air fryer the air fryer is a confection oven where it has a fan at the top and it blows the air around when the air is being blown all right it cooks quicker all right hello jessica how are you doing hello mrs sarah how are you doing thank you for the uh super heart award hey how was the trip trip was really good looked good <laughs> hello terry how are you doing hello patty how are you doing patty all right, so uh, hello, Hannah. How are you doing? I have never heard had cornbread with chili. I was, oh, wait a minute. I got my, we got to, we got to keep on going here. All right, so we got, um, we can talk as, as soon as we get the meat in here, okay? Because I got to get, I got to start cooking up here. All right, so we're going to get our meat in here. Let's see. I really, I've never used this meat before, but hey, what, always something new, right? All right, so this is super, super hot, y'all. I'm going to turn it off for a sec. It is off. All right, so let it cool down for a second. Well, we get our meat right out of our tube, all right, and put it right in the pan. Yep. Get our mix and chop, all right, and we're going to mix and chop this up. So my trip was good. I had a five-hour trip one way, 10 hours round trip. Did it all yesterday, but went to visit Bryce. We uh, sold his little car, his big car. It was, uh, it was a mess. It was a mess. I should do a, a, a coffee scope and, and just talk about it. All right, so let's turn the oven back on or the stove back on. All right, got it. We need to get that nice and hot and get it cooking there. And in the meantime, we need to chop up some onions and some peppers. Now, the recipe doesn't call for peppers, but I like peppers. It gives it a little bit more flavor and also sweetness to the chili. All right, so while this is cooking, it is whoop, super hot. All right, we're gonna get our food chopper and chop up our onions and peppers, all right? I already have them done up a little bit for us, but we're gonna use our food chopper. This is this one here is uh, 30 years old and is available still today in the same design. If you um, lose this part or this part gets broken or lost, or this part, these are two replacement parts that you can use on this, on this little uh, gadget here, which really chops up everything fine, all right? So the more you chop, the finer it gets, all right? I don't want it too fine. There we go. And let's do some peppers here. All right, let's get that pepper. Let's put that onion down there. All right, chop, chop, chop. Let's 
for, sorry if you forgot to take out your earplugs, y'all. It's one way of getting frustration out. Okay, and one more. The food chopper is for when you want chop, stuff chopped that you don't want the precise cut. Plus, you can never cry with this thing because <laughs> you're too fast with it. All right, there you go. Let's get all that out. I'm going to put this in the sink. And we got our meat nicely browning up. If there's any, um, a lot of oil, we may want to take some of it out, which there's a lot of moisture in this here. There we go. I'm going to wait. I wait. I always cook my meat first and then add my veggies into it after I take out some of the fat that's already in there. And we did do a little bit of oil in there. So while this is cooking, let's we can talk. All right. Now that we got that going, let's talk up a storm, y'all. All right. So uh, let me see. Oh, I'm trying to flip you around here. Hello, hello. Now I got it. Hey, Aiden, how are you doing? Are you having rice? No, we're not having rice with our chili. It's too many points on my diet, so I said skip the rice altogether. We're just having chili, and I'll put some jalapenos and, and green onions on there with a dollop of, of uh, Greek yogurt rather than sour cream. It, it will eliminate the sour cream points to it, and it'll give you a little bit of creaminess. I'll put the sour cream out for my mom. All right. Uh, this is ground turkey. Uh because it's better for my diet, okay? Okay, so I've got to try it very popular. My mom would have a fit with a Jiffy Mix. Yeah, uh, it's, you know, my mom says, pick up a cut. Okay, when mom tells you to do this, this is what you do, okay? Sorry, y'all. We can make it from scratch, but unfortunately, it's lickety split. I got other things to do than making everything from scratch. We're making the chili from scratch, y'all. All right, so our, our meat is cooking up. We got our peppers and onions already ready to go. We need the can opener to open up the two cans, and uh, that's pretty much it. Look at that. Uh, if you were cooking at home like you are with me right now, you would be doing some other stuff. You'd be setting the table, helping the kids with homework, uh, doing something somewhere else while all this stuff is, is cooking up, okay? So the ground turkey is cooking up. I took a lot of liquid in there. I'm going to get a, a towel. So my trick, trick is if you have too much oil or... It might be a little bit too much. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put the towel in here and absorb some of it up because it looks like it's soaking in the, the liquid. Again, I haven't used that meat before. It, it was, um, I don't know, what's that? It, it was in the tube and I thought, hey, my, why not, right? Gotta get another, another two out. Cause there's a lot of liquid in this thing. I need a, I need some tongs, y'all. All right, seven new messages, wow. All right, uh, mom knows best, that's right. Hey, Christine, how are you doing? Uh, guten Tag, guten Tag. No sprachen die Deutsch. I know uh, just a, a tiny bit of German, just a tiny bit of German. Um, Christine was having a broadcast earlier and she was speaking in German. She was trying to learn something in German. So she thought she would go live. Oh, there we go. We got it. It's, it's doing good now that we got all that out. All right. Super. Yeah, I'm back home. It's only one day thing. I took five. We left here at 5 a.m., 5.15 in the morning. I got up there about uh, 10 minutes after, or 15 minutes after 10. And uh, it was supposed to be, the tow truck was supposed to be there between 8 and, and 11. It didn't come until 5.30, y'all, quarter to 6. And um, I didn't leave there until quarter to 8, all right? So what happened is my son's car totally died. It cannot be fixed without lots of money, and we're not going to put that money into that vehicle. Plus, then when I saw the vehicle, it needed new tires, y'all. Okay, so <laughs> yeah, it was a up, quick up and back and down, but it was so good. All right, it was so good to see Bryce. All right, let me uh, angle us down and uh, let me see. Are we? Are, am I on the right? No, we're in the wrong spot. Look at. I, I feel like I'm a, a newbie here. All right, so we got our, our meat. It's nicely browning up, and this is the part part where I'm going to put in my veggies, so the meat has a chance to brown, and so do the uh, veggies have a chance to cook. That is a lot of veggies going in here: rice, or uh, onions, and bell pepper, uh, bell peppers, red, orange, and yellow. All right. So let me do one more thing. Mm -mm -mm. Oh my goodness! How come I didn't have that up? All right, hold on, you two here. There. 
so anyway, let me know. Um, hello, Pablo. How are you doing? I'll be spoiled seeing him all, all. Yeah, I know. I saw him like a couple last month. And again, I saw him this month. It was so nice to see Bryce. Okay. Yeah, the copycat is back. He's actually helping me uh, with my uh, numbers on YouTube. And uh, we're going, we're going again. We're going again. All right. There we go. Thank you, Randy, for coming in. Mr. Coffee Cat. And that. And support. And that. 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 All right. He's gone. Gone. He's had to go to another account now. Okay. So thank you for taking him out of here, y'all. And while I block him on, on, uh, YouTube. All right, so we got this going on. We need to mix it around here. Mix it up. Okay, I'm gonna turn up my heat. Need it a little bit hotter than this. All right, and we're doing chili. Uh, if you like rice, you can do rice. We are putting beans in here. A lot of people don't uh, eat have beans with their chili, but uh, it gives you more protein when you have beans in it, and that's the way my mom and I like it, and the way the recipe with Pampered Chef is is asking us to cook it. Okay. Beautiful color in this pan right here. Okay. We are halfway through the cooking of the cornbread. And in the meantime, while we're doing, while we're cooking the cornbread and the, the onions and everything else, is all heating up. We're actually going to open up our cans. We're going to do, instead of um, crushed, it calls for, let me see, uh, a can of diced tomatoes. I'm using crushed tomatoes. All right. Thank you, Cheryl, for the award. I appreciate it. Uh, good evening. Yummy, yummy, yum, 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 yum. I know this is this is so good. It may be 100 degrees outside here, but you know what? There's always a good time to have chili. All right. We can actually freeze it, the chili, for later um, and put it on hot dogs. All right. Although that that chili my mom likes out of the can and she liked it with no beans on that one, believe it or not. But this is a lot better for you and healthier for you. We are using the new mix. You're seeing it first on Pampered Chef or uh, here on Haps, the new chili uh, meal mix, all right? It's a meal in a pack. All you have to do is add a couple simple ingredients and it is ready to go, okay? Uh, hey, Patty, thank you for the award. Y'all are so sweet. All right, so, oh, good news, y'all. I got paid out by Haps today. Yeah, I got paid out. After, I don't know, eight months on HAPS, we got paid out to, to PayPal. So I got money to pay, to buy the um, Penske um, uh, cinnamon now. I was wondering where, where I was going to come up with some funds for some uh, spices from Penske, especially the cinnamon on there. All right, so we'll get that. I know Pampered Chef is coming out with the um, uh, cinnamon for probably October or November. Uh, for the fall holiday baking season. I don't know why they don't have it all year round. All right. All right. So that's nicely cooking. Let's get our cans opened up. We're going to be doing uh, dark red kidney beans and one can of crushed fire roasted tomatoes. If you ever need to stretch your um, uh, meal, you can actually add in another can of, of mixed chili beans, but we're going to keep this off to the side because I don't think we need that today. All right, next, let's get our can opener, great old can opener. We're going to just put it right on. Look, it attaches like this. It attaches on here, and you go all the way around. And it's a smooth edge can opener by Pampered Chef. Everybody needs a good can opener in their home. In case your electricity goes off, you can open up a can, okay? Now, it goes all the way around. You're going to feel it release. You're going to go backwards, and you get this little beak. It's a little tiny beak right here, okay, and the little lever. And you put it, you open, put it together, put it down, and lift it. It comes right up, all right? So there's our fire roasted tomatoes. And I like the fire roast. It has nice dark and a little a char prints on here. Okay. So we got that ready to go. Now we have a can that has a pop top. All right. Pop tops are sometimes very dangerous. Ask JFJ. All right. He actually popped a top like this. It flew off and actually cut him. He had to get stitches. So the way you do this one is you lift it up. All right. With the little, with the little hook. All right. Turn it, put it on the countertop and then pull back and oh, like that. Like mine, mine went wrong too. It comes right off. Now this has some uh, liquid in it and we want to drain this off because this is where all the sodium is and we want to rinse our cans off, our beans off. So in order to rinse this can off, I'm going to be using my uh, Easy Read measuring colander. I'm going to put this in the sink and drain it and rinse it. Okay, 
I'm going to let that sit in the sink so it drains off. And we are uh, going to mix this thing up right here. Because it's already, oh, you can see the nice caramelization coming down here. That's going to be so good. Yeah, don't worry about it getting brown down there because it's going to lift off once you put liquid in here. But we're going to get a nice little, um, more of a sear on our meat. More like a browning on it. All right. Now, one tip. All right. If you don't want your, your uh, folks to know that you're using turkey versus, um, uh, beef because beef is a little bit darker than this you can always add a little bit of kitchen bouquet in here it's a browning um item it's this Shh, this is a secret so just pour it in the cap because if you pour too much it'll be too dark okay so put a little cap full on maybe half a cap and you're going to turn it it's going to get nice and dark on you all right it's just a browning sauce all right they use it in lots of kitchens all right kitchen bouquet all right at your local grocery store all right, so you see how, how the brown is in there? We're just going to mix it up. And it's just going to give it a little bit of, of color to your dish. All right, so shh, just in case they want to say, hey, is that beef or turkey? You're going to say, oh, it's beef. You know, they will not know the difference. They will not know the difference. Especially in chili, taco soup, sloppy joes, they won't know. All right, my pan's getting nice and dark. All right, so we're going to add in our cans now. All right, we're going to add in our crushed tomatoes. There. And we're going to add in our can of red kidney beans. All right. And with this can that has all the goodness in it, it calls for one and a half cups of water. We're actually going to put our water in the can and rinse out our can and get all that goodness out of the can. All right. So I need another little scraper here. All right. that right in all right there's one and there's the rest of it no, that was that was a can and a half okay so we got all that in let's just mix this up oh wait i got forgot to put the seasons in y'all we forgot to put the seasonings in i was so interested in the can and stuff we have to put the whole pack of this in so this is your and the water's going to absorb this all right there we go we're using pampered chef chili meal in a, in a container here. All right, so this is a little bit different than Taste Buds. It will be available for sale come September 1st. Oh, look how nice and dark it's getting too, y'all. Oh, this is looking fabulous. And all that seasoning will have, will have um, let me see, it has in here, spices include chili peppers, cumin, black pepper, oregano. There's some brown sugar, so it is a little sweet. Salt, it has 20% of your daily intake of salt. So there's a lot of salt in here. Um, dehydrated red bell peppers, dehydrated green bell peppers, garlic powder, and psyllidite oxide, which is an anti-caking uh, agent. It is gluten-free. There's no preservatives added, so store it in a cool and dry place. Filled by weight, not by volume. Settling may occur during shipping. All right. So we got this. Oh, this is looking so good, y'all. So we're just going to let this simmer for about 20 minutes. All right. And it'll be all done. Look at that. This is looking marvelous. That was dinner done. All right, and our cornbread is going to be done shortly, too. All right, let's put this in there. So, Aiden asked me when, uh, what what tool would he need in his kitchen. Aiden needs a scraper in his kitchen to scrape out his bowls. Scraper, Aiden, all right? Uh, that's And he's across the pond, all right? Let's put this off to the side. And I need a little wiper here. There. And how are we doing over here? Karen Sue's in the house over on, on, on thing. Let's see there. And, uh, uh, and report. There. there we go. Okay. All right. Bring the, Hey, troll, come back with another uh, account over on, on YouTube. Okay. Why don't you mail him one? I do need to mail him one. Okay. I just have to get a list together. The one thing he wants is pretty big, not big, but it's it's like forty bucks, and then I have to mail it. So I gotta figure out how to get that to him. All right, all right. Chili's cooking. We're gonna put the lid on it so it doesn't evaporate. All right, let it go bye bye, and let it sit there. We have it is five fifty four in the evening right here. Ham yes, I know. Uh, no, it was sixty five dollars for for ha ha for Melanie's uh, Pyrex. It was sixty five dollars to mail mail one bowl. Uh, that might, hopefully it was wrapped and wrapped again. 
Bye. Great job, Alexis says Aiden. Thank you. Hey, Lenny. I know I did. I did. Anyway, that looks good. Uh, looks great. All right. Uh, Lenny, Lenny P, it's a, it's our copycat troll. That copycat troll loves me. He loves uh, Randy Horton. He loves Karen Sue. He loves Vanita and me. And we are all blessed with him coming in or sh her coming in to her and uh, uh, just giving us extra uh, views, you know? So that's that's how it is. Great tips. Hey, do you remember those days studying? Oh, let's see. All right. So Aiden says, yeah, I was looking forward to tomatoes and garlic and onion Saturday hats. Yes. So we are going to be doing broadcasting on Saturday. It's, it's hats, um, uh, veggie and fruit day. And uh, everyone's welcome to come in and uh, or watch all the great cooks that cook on Saturday. It'll be starting out at 7 a.m. and going through 10 o'clock at night when the last one comes in, which is Blaine and Wilson um, on their combo. Uh, so it is a full day of uh, Haps cooks here on on on, on Haps. Okay, let's see. Uh, when you all right, darling, then you have hope to get it all away. Oh my gosh. I reported that person says Cheryl. Thanks. Uh, let's see. So, darling Linda, then you have to hope it gets there. Yeah, exactly. Hope you have to pray that it gets there. Hey there, Kim. How you doing? I see you over on Facebook, Len, or Periscope, or Twitter. Where? No, you're on Twitter or per, uh, Periscope. What time is it on Saturday? I'm doing it at 9 a.m. on Saturday. I still don't know what I'm doing. I think I'm going to do a little bit of this and a little bit of that. All right. All right. So this has stopped. Oh. <laughs> You know it's really good when I do that, right? All right, so we made um, jiffy corn mix, all right? Mom wanted it. She's 82. We give her what she wants, right? Hello, Jessica. All right, so we just put one egg, a third of a cup of milk. I added a little bit of corn in here and one teaspoon of sugar to make it a little sweet because she likes it more like a dessert. And uh, we put instead of putting it in muffin tins, we actually put it in the uh, Springform pan by Pampered Chef. Now that Springform pan is being retired as of uh, August 31st, or in, in, unless supplies run out. That Springform pan, this is the pan that I do my cheesecake in, in the quick cooker. Now you know that there are four items on sale with Pampered Chef in the month of August. They are 25% off, uh, that's a that's a Pampered Chef price. But when you host a show, you can actually get it for another 50% off. So this air fryer, instead of $209 when you host in August, and I still need, I still have some openings, all right? is 105 bucks. Can you imagine getting an air fryer, the Pampered Chef air fryer? Oh, it's flying off the shelves over at, at uh, Pampered Chef, and I hope it comes to your house soon, all right? The other things that are on sale is the quick cooker. Oh, this is, we're going to turn that down because it is bubbling here. You hear that bubbling? That bubbling is our, is our, is our chili. All right. So the other things that are on sale is the, uh, the, um, deluxe cooking blender. It's on sale for two sixty one. So if you want this for 130 some bucks, Hey, reach out to me. We can get it to your house. All right. And then that quick cooker. Oh, it's awesome. I'm thinking of taking that to Brian's house. Y'all we can. 70, 70, under 80 bucks, you can get that in, in the month of August. All right. If that's not your thing and you don't want to host and you say, oh my gosh, I just don't, I just don't know anybody. Hey, I have a thing for you. We have a host of the month coming up. All right. And we need a few more people to do the host of the month. That's where you buy $50 worth of Pampered Chef on five other people's uh, parties. Two, three, we don't know that person. All right. And you become host one of those months. OK. And then you can get something for, um, out there for a discount. What time? OK, we got that. I'm, I'm skipping the ads, y'all. Skipping the ads. All right. Y'all are conversing. Yeah. Yummy cornbread. So let's look at that cornbread. It looks totally done. All right. All right. So this is the nice spring form pan. And I'm going to put this down on the. And, uh, I need to trim it down here, y'all. <laughs> it looks beautiful, y'all. This looks so good. I can't believe you still have the landline. Yeah, that's my mom's landline. My mom, she's not a cell phone person. Okay, so she likes the landline. All right, I don't use the landline unless I lost my phone, but then it, she only gets like 30 minutes of long distance on the landline. So I, I don't try not to do it. I try to find my own phone. Okay. I, you know, I've been good this year, Alexis. I don't know. What have you been good? Get your, ah, oh, yeah. 
get your Christmas presents early. All right. So buy now or even shop now before everything comes because it goes away. All right. So this is totally done. All right. We're going to let it cool down and it is in the spring form pan. It's really easy to make, make this. We'd put it right in the air fryer. You can actually make a lot of stuff in this, in the air fryer. Okay. It fits perfectly. All right. So we got the cornbread done. Our chili's cooking. We just have to let it simmer and I'm all done. Let's drink up some water. Hydration nation. Because you know what? When you drink water before your meal, it helps you eat less. All right. And it's all about maintaining your weight, losing your weight. There's only a few people that need to gain weight. All right. I am not one of those. All right. <laughs> so anyway. Let's put this over side. We still need to cut up some um, some other items um, so that we, we're ready to go. All right. So I have my um, green onions. All right, green onions here. Let me clip some of these babies off. They're getting a little wild here. So my green onions are like wild babies here. So I'm going to clip those tops off. We don't need this part. All right. And one way of doing green onions is to use the scissors, y'all. Yep, your scissors are your friend in the kitchen. All right. So you're going to get them and just put it like this. Scoot there. Scoot there. There we go. Let's stack them up and we can slice these babies up. All right. There we go. Look at that. So yeah, you can use a knife or you can use your scissors. Okay. All depends what you're, what you, what you uh, prefer. All right. And I'll show you how we can use the scissors too, because y'all are saying, you should use your scissors. All right, so we got a, a Santuco knife. And you see how nice we did it with the scissors. We can also do it with the Santuco knife. All right, just cut down, make sure it goes all the way through. Make sure your knives are sharp. You actually need to um, sharpen your knives every five to six uses with a honing tool. All right, so make sure you have a honing tool in your uh, kitchen arsenal. All right, there we go, all done. Either way, it is totally fine. Now I want to add a little bit of jalapeno to my um, um, stuff and oops, I'm just going to get the, the food chopper. Do I have that food chopper out? Yeah, I do, but I got it a little wet. All right, let's get the food chopper out. Let's see. Oh, we got the, is that one back? Let's see. Uh, there and. Oh, goodness gracious. We have to go back. My channel. That one. And okay, well, that's waiting to come up. We're just going to chop this up. Oh, I got a little water all over the place. Let's get that out. Tap down the, the eye. That. There. I want to get all the water out. There. Had a little bit too much water. We're just going to chop, chop, chop this. I'm not burning my eyes up with that. I can blow hair out now. Put my finger in there now. Don't touch your eyes, Alexis, because you'll you'll burn them. All right, there. And... All right, all right. So we have. Wow, this person came in several times today. Our a nice little um troll. There we go. All right. Got it all. Enjoy your dinner. Have a great night, everyone. Off to sleep. Good night, Aunt Christine. Uh, hello, Hannah. That's what I've heard. Let me see. Uh, I'm going to visit family members in California and Texas. Don't think I could make it on Saturday's stream party. I will watch a replay. That's all right. That's great. Thanks for letting us know that you're not going to be around. So we, we won't be worried where y'all, where you are, Hannah, because we'll say, well, Hannah's traveling today. All right. Uh, yep. Uh, that's that cooked in, yeah, that's, that cooked in no time is right. Let's see. Uh, there we go. All right. I think I got everybody's thing. I'm skipping the ads there. All right. Alexis, you, you're, what's the strongest chili you've ever eaten? I don't know. Um, have ghost peppers, ghost peppers. All right. Let me get a different one out. Uh, we can get it out with this. There we go. Yeah. I'm going to put this on the countertop. All right, this is going great, y'all. Let me see it coming up. I'm trying to get the orange one out. I like using the orange one with this. Okay. Okay, because it is. And remember we had that brown spot over here? We're going to try and rub that up because all of this is goodness baked on. All right. This is lovely, y'all. 
All right, so I'm going to turn this off, all right, because it is mad hot, y'all. And uh, it only needs to simmer for like 20 minutes. I'm not sure how long. Probably not quite 20 minutes yet, but we're going to taste this. All right, we need to taste this baby. All right, and do a sample up. Oh, I took it off and it didn't show you. There's our chili right there done up for us, all right? Got a little bit of jalapeno. We're going to get a little bowl out here. Now this is a taste testing bowl, okay? It's like one cup bowl. All right, so we're gonna put this in. It's actually probably half a cup. Let's figure out how much how much is in here. Let's put one cup in here. All right, one cup. No, it's about a half a cup, y'all. It's about a half a cup in this little prep bowl. And this prep bowl actually belongs to the Pamper Chef Chartoucherie um, series. So you can actually get this. Uh, and it comes with two little spoons too. Let's put that in. Let's get that. Let's get that. Let's put some onions on there. Put some jalapenos on there too. Oh yeah. We just need a dollop of stuff, but we're gonna taste it first. And I can't find my little spoon, y'all. All right, we got this other spoon here. Okay, the other little happy spoon. We just wanna taste it. We just wanna taste this. Just taste it. Okay, just taste this, baby. Yummy is right. Aiden, it's yummy. This is delicious, y'all. Totally delicious. Oh, my God. No changes are needed. <laughs> A little dollop of sour cream or Greek yogurt would be great on here. Oh my gosh, y'all. This is so good. It is so hot too. Like spite, it's at temperature hot. It's not, I don't think it's too, it's, I don't think it's has a kick to it. I did add some jalapenos to it. Give it a blow. Perfect. I would not change it. I can't wait to eat dinner. Cheers, everyone, after that. All right. So this this here is a Pampered Chef um, enamel cast iron skillet. It comes with the lid. It is on sale. This, this or it's available. It's, it's available come September. It's not on sale yet. It's not even available for sale uh, to the general public. It's only available right now to host to host in in August. This this again, it's it's in the gray cast iron um item and uh, it's available to host in August only. It'll be available for the, to the general public come September 1st. And again, it's beautiful. I mean, it, it, it could make double the amount of chili in here. That's how much you can do two pounds of it and use two containers or two packets of the chili to make a big, a big, big amount. All right. And this makes it for how many, this is, it says six, it says six servings in here of this. All right. So if you want to make a double batch, get, get, um, that uh, both of these are available come September, but right now reach out to me. All right. I can send you one of these if you want to host a party, um, this month. All right. Uh, so anyway, this one here is available for sale come September and it comes in a pack of three. There's three packs in here. All right. So you don't, you just don't get one, you get three. All right. I think it's $18. I'm not sure. But it's a meal. It's called Chili Meal Kits, all right, by Pampered Chef. All right. So let me see what you're saying, and we'll we'll call it a day, okay? Alexis, enjoy. Thank you. Enjoy your meal, says Hayden. Thank you. Oh, I'll be ordering that one, says Patty. Patty, you need to cook it too, okay? You can make this in the Rock Rock. You can probably make it even in the Quick Cooker. Uh, I don't see why not. Uh, you can make it in uh, the 12-inch skillet. You can make it in any of the Rock Rocks. Uh, the Dutch oven. I mean, there's so many different vessels you can make this in. It's unbelievable. All right. But it does taste absolutely fabulous. All right. I'm going to get a little bit of, I'm going to do the sour cream since it's available for me right here. And we'll do up a little, another little one. I'm going to clean, clean my, clean the bowl. We're going to clean the bowl up. So when you take a picture, make sure that all of it is all cleaned up on here. So you don't have any like residue. You want it to be crisp. All right, I'm gonna try and clean it. There we go. I'm trying to clean my bowl so we can use it as a final shot, y'all. All right, just saying that when you take a picture, make sure you know what's in the background 
and what and that looks very appetizing. All right. This is picture taken one on one. All right. Or end end result. Let's put that right there. All right there. Let's put that like that. I'm gonna add a little bit more green peppers on here or green onions. Yeah. Oh, that looks really pretty, don't you think? All right. So there's our end picture, and we have our our um, pot in the back. All right. And this is super hot, y'all. My hands are just, this is just like really, really hot. All right. So I want to thank everybody for coming in and spending a little bit of your time. We did dinner done in 30 minutes and, and actually 30 minutes, you can get this done, but we did do a little bit of talking. All right. So if you don't talk, then you can get it done even quicker. All right. Here, I think I can get a little cold. I need to get there. I have it under a plate so it doesn't burn my hands, y'all. But that's that's it for today. What do you think, y'all? All right. I love that orange. Yeah, the orange spoon is great. I also like the little tasting spoons too. These are these were available a while back. These are pampered chef too. So anyway, thanks for coming in. I'm gonna go enjoy dinner and uh, talk to my mom and say, hey, dinner's done. We got our cornbread all done in the spring form pan, and we got our chili done. All right. Everything. Um. The the spring form pan. Get it now or forever hold your peace because you know I'm going to be using that quite a lot. All right, especially for cheesecake. I love the slice of cheesecake it makes. All right. So thanks for coming in and I'll see you all when I broadcast the next time. Remember to reach out to me to host your own party. I can help you save some money by hosting your own party. All right. Or if we want to do a share rewards, we can get 25% off some of these tools. Just reach out to me. Say, hey, I want, I want that. I want 25% off. All right. I can help you spend money, no problem. Uh, or I can help you earn money by becoming a Pamper Chef consultant. It is very simple and easy. I do have systems in place that everything, almost everything is automated, but you do need to learn the systems, okay? So anyway, uh, reach out to me. Thank you for coming in and I'll talk to y'all next time. Bye.